Hi everyone, it's Deborah. This this video is for the ladies, and 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 for the men. This is for you guys that are going through a breakup or uh, a divorce. It will be the most traumatic thing besides a death in the family that you will ever go through. Um, I lost both my parents and my sister, my, one of my best friends, but nothing is as traumatic as a broken heart. And I really believe that, and I do believe I have heart damage from my, from my breakup, but... I had never ate by myself. I had never sat down at a restaurant and ate by myself. I uh, always had children around me or grandchildren. Uh, I didn't think I could do it. Uh, I was lost. I went into shock. And I had no idea what it was like for a divorce because... Nobody in my immediate family had ever been divorced because I was the oldest. Now, after I got my divorce, two of my sisters got theirs. So it's like they were all waiting for me to, uh, you know, be the first. So um, I was scared. I've never been so scared of anything in my life. Very few things scare me. My mom used to scare me when she'd get ready to whip me. But nothing scared or frightened me as much as this did. But I know that I could not continue living the way I was under the circumstances. So uh, I went through hell. I had to move like seven times in 14 years. It was a nightmare. I had to do all this on my own. And I've been a very independent person my whole life. I got my driver's license at 15. I was driving a stick shift at 12 around a mountain in a truck. Um, I was hired by the police department uh, at 18. I mean, I, I've been always a go-getter, very independent. One of my aunts actually said she never met anybody more independent than me, but I wasn't sure what she meant. Um, so, I had that in my corner, but it is very scary because you have to learn how to work on things yourself if you're a woman. With a man, you may have to learn how to do laundry and cook, but let me tell you what, it can be an exciting time in your life. It can be a real exciting time for you to become the person you should have always been. Mm -hmm. And I have learned, I have repaired, I've changed doorknobs, I've repaired um, garbage disposals. I have learned so much. It's that can-do attitude and you don't give up. I had to go to court by myself seven times and that wasn't even for the divorce, it was for, you know, the assets and other issues. So, uh... Yeah, it was a learning experience for sure. And um, I'm glad I went through it. I went, you have to go through hell sometimes to get to this side. And if you don't change something, nothing is ever going to change. You have to be the one that's brazen enough to say, I give, cry uncle. If you are... I always say if you are sad more than you're happy, that's time to leave that relationship. But any of you all who have gone through this and come out the other side, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and you have to like stop crying and get your shit together. There's, I read all these divorce books and the one thing they stress is <coughs> do not let your health go. I continued going to the dentist. I continued going to the doctor. I kept my scripts up. Um, I took care of myself. Very good care of myself. Um, and uh, that's important to do. And the other thing is, 
you're going to lose family members. You're going to lose people. They're not going to visit you for a while. They're going to wait till the dust settles. And your children or your grandchildren may not even visit you. That's very sad. Or even your own children. All that happened to me. I prayed every night to God that things would change. And uh, thank God they did. Because it's very lonely out there without family. Let me tell you. you got to have somebody to visit at Christmas, right? 